Thank you very much, President. All too often, trade policy in the EU undermines citizens' power and plays into the hands of transnational corporations. So I'm delighted that tomorrow we will vote a regulation which will do the opposite and for the first time introduce binding rules on the imports of conflict minerals. Those who deal in the four metals, tin, tantalum, tungsten and gold, will need to check that their supply chain has no links to human rights abuses or armed conflicts. It should also be noted that although the Parliament does not have formal powers to initiate legislation, this process began with the work of my colleague Judith Sargentini here in the Parliament, with the Commission following up her own initiative report with its own proposal. The Parliament refused to accept the Commission and Council's preference for voluntary code, which is why we now have these important binding rules for the imports of conflict minerals. We are disappointed that the final deal includes some important loopholes, particularly the fact that while the Parliament's proposal included mandatory due diligence for manufacturers of products such as computers, mobile phones or laptops, this was watered down during the trilogues so that imported goods using the metals identified will not now be subject to the same binding rules. But overall we are pleased with these binding rules on conflict minerals this sort of restraint on the worst abuses of corporations that are so powerful in the global economy is the sort of action that citizens wish to see and can help to build ongoing support and confidence in the European Union. Merci. Uh, au nom du groupe EFD.